Hey there guys, my name is Mason or Unique Geese and welcome to Zookosis Rescue the Animals. Now, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you may know that this is probably one of my most hyped games of the year. This is basically an indie horror game. It's made by the same people who made Sparky Marky, if you guys remember that. And while Sparky Marky was good, I think there was a lot of like core gameplay stuff that a lot of people complained about. And I think this is a great time for the developers of that game to see what they did there and make something so much cooler here. In real life, zoocosis is basically like a mental disorder that animals inside of a zoo get whenever they're trapped in a confined area day after day. Uh, they start exhibiting things like walking around in circles. I'm not super knowledgeable in the real life terms. If any of you guys are like super big into animals, feel free to like lore dump down below. So yeah, taking care of a zoo full of a bunch of jacked up animals is the general premise of this game. Now I've been saying it this whole time. If you go back to my channel, uh, I used to do videos where I talked about like new upcoming horror games, uh, especially especially as we were building up to the release of my own game, Indigo Park. But I genuinely think this game has the chance to take the cake as the best indie horror game of the year. This is gonna be awesome. All the trailers for it looked insane. I'm excited. Let's get into it. Oh, this game contains nudity. Good to know. Okay. We'll go a little up on the brightness. That way you guys can see it if you're watching on some weird device. Before we begin, I want you to put down your scribble. <laughs> okay. Put down your scribble. Definition definition of confidential information. Any information obtained by the night zoo guard during his employment is considered confidential. Sure. Non-disclosure obligations. The night Let's zookeeper... Let's not waste time here. You'll be sitting here all night, and I've got more important things to attend to. I want to read through the terms of the contract, okay? If I've learned anything in life, it's read through the damn contract. The night zookeeper undertakes to disclose confidential... Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, in the event of injury or death, all the night... Right. I didn't want to do this, but it seems I have to. Listen. Hello, you breached the emergency suicide helpline. What? How can we help you? I... I got nothing. I've been unemployed for a year. I lost my house. My money is gone. No life. My family. Damn That's it. us. We're playing as Paul. I just can't face them. Lily, Gina, they're great. They're too good for me. I'm, I'm just a stupid failure. What? Where did you get this? Chill, Paul. No need to break the nose of a man ready to solve your problems. All the problems, Paul, with the house, with the money, and even with the expensive treatment for little Gina. Well, what do you say? You ready to sign? Bro, he pulled up the recording of the suicide hotline. What the hell is this game, dude? Okay, so we're playing as Paul Con Connolly. Their employer is not liable to his relatives or other Let's law. Let's not okay. drag it out. I just want to read through it, dude. Chill. Effective upon signing is considered indefinite. Okay, the nice zoo guard or his lawful representatives agreed to not involve the police or any. Okay, sure. Uh, any changes to this agreement require written consent. Okay, Just sure. sign the contract. There, wow, that looks like my signature. Excellent. You made the right move. Just a couple more things and you'll pull your family out of poverty. I really hope so. Okay. Pass this to your chest. Our scientists require us to do this to see everything that happens in the enclosures. Scientists? I thought this was a zoo. True. Never thought that the smart Alex belong right in the zoo. <laughs> hope you got the joke. Excellent. I think they're using metahuman for the lip sync. First, grab your I don't PDA. know if that's a metahuman rig interacting with all the work objects. Sorry, game dev stuff. You've taken the first step to becoming a part of our close-knit zoo family. Wait, what's this for? He'll find out later. Okay. Sure. Okay, so we're taking care of the zoo. We've got so it's like a body cam type game. We'll see how disorienting this gets. It did say that there's an option to disable the body cam if it like makes you sick, which is kind of a cool, cool oh, little thing they're thinking awake? of. Good, get up. It's time to get to work. What the hell? What did you do to me? I took care of your health. Working with animals requires prevention. You wouldn't oh, want to bring some kind of infection home, would you? Sure. By the way, I took your phone as well. I'll <laughs> return it in the morning after the shift. What the so hell? I got the job? I thought we had an interview. My wife is waiting for me outside. The job will be yours if you make it through the night. Let's go. I still have a lot to show you. Okay. Oh, dude, I'm I'm liking the environments and stuff already. The look of this game's awesome. Can I open these? Now they're all locked. 
Okay. Cool. Welcome to the zoo. All right. There's a shitter in here. Okay. Oh, didn't mean to get that. Are you yapping? Are you yapping over here, bro? Sorry. It's quite spacious. Oh, I don't like that smile. Yep. This is our hub. You'll have plenty of everything here, except time. Now we're in the cold room. Here we store herbs, vegetables, and fish while the meat gets ground into portions for the animal rations. And right now we're running low on herbs and vegetables. Got the hint? Get to it. You can find the instructions in your PDA. Okay, load two herbal and one vegetable vegetable brick into the brick trolley. Okay, so two herb. I see. Okay, two herb. Come on. There we go. And then one Come on, vegetable. We're not playing here. Chill, dog. Most of the bricks will be left as a reserve. And take these ones with you. It's time to show you our workhorse. What was that? Jeez. There's something in the works that you're not ready to know about yet. Let's start with the basics. Okay. And here's our K-A-T-I-E. Kinetic Automated Transport with Innovative Engineering. Okay. Katie will take you around the zoo. Good to know. So we got like a train. Okay. This is the refrigeration compartment. You need to load the brick trolley here. Until you load it here, Katie won't budge. To load the brick trolley, you need to activate the lever. Oh, okay. Aboard. Now, select the giraffe enclosure on the control panel and start the train. Okay. So we're getting food over to the different, uh, to the different, uh, enclosures. So we're going to the So I guess throughout the game, we'll see giraffe, wallaby, oh, yeah. gorilla, penguin, zebra, moose, hippopotamus, and elephant. We're going to start at the giraffe. Oh, seen okay. Some sit up straight. Let's go. It seems the giraffe, uh, enclosure has been like the main point of marketing for them, like in all of their stuff. So kind of makes sense it'd be like the tutorial one okay i'm liking this so far go to the giraffe so station the giraffe station now listen carefully i won't repeat it twice this is our mobile veterinary station here you'll be mixing medications for our animals okay are they sick well they can be we need to closely monitor the health of the animals we have some quite rare specimens so the thought of anything happening to them is out of the question Take this seriously, and we should all be safe for another day. Okay. Follow me. Sure, this Doc. This is our kitchen factory. To collect feces for tests, you have to feed the animal its favorite food. To collect feces Here's where for you'll tests. It. Choose the recipe from the list. Cut, mix, and you're done. Any questions? Yes. Excellent. <laughs> the zoo needs those who aren't afraid to ask. But even more so, it needs those who find answers themselves. All right, enough chit chat. Go to the cutting table. You need to select the giraffe from the list. Okay. Don't make a mistake with the weight. The exact measurement is displayed on the weight indicator. Measure carefully. I need to cut off. Oh, okay. I kind of like this. This is like those um, those TikToks or whatever, where it's like, okay, you need to cut off like exactly half or whatever. So the total weight is six. We need to cut off three and a half so this is probably three right at the halfway point so we'll go here. excellent Paul. cut now do the same with the herbal brick from the recipe go ahead okay the total weight is three so this needs to be right at half okay that was good i got the half okay i was close Perfect. now activate the lever to lower the gadget trolley Activate the oh, okay, the lever. This is gonna be hard to remember. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of steps here. Now drag the trolley to the gates. Now drag the trolley to the gates. Okay. Oh here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what was that bug? That was kind of gross. I never thought a zoo could be organized like this. A train trolleys yes paul our zoo is quite unique it's our pride you won't see anything like it in others i'm uh, loving this already i love the environments and stuff 
People say the zoo is going through tough times. How would I know? I'm just a simple man. Clock in and clock out. How long have you been working here? Long enough to teach you everything. Come on, move the trolley. This is the entrance to the enclosure. To open the door, you need to insert your PDA into the enclosure terminal and select Open Enclosure. Okay. Welcome to the giraffe enclosure. Open the door in the enclosure. Now we need to feed our little creatures. Take the bucket and dump the food in the feeding area. Infection symptoms, scars. Zucosis. <gasps> Hello! Hello! Hello, Bo! Hold on, hold on. I'll do my job in a minute. I want to say hi to the giraffes. Cleo. I can pet? Come here. Oh! Best game. Best game of the year. Oh, it like licked my hand. That was, uh. That was something. All right, so what am I doing? I gotta get the the bucket. Oh, pick up the bucket. Pour the food into the feeding area. Hey, Bo. Oh, they're following me now because I have the food. They know it's yummer time. Oh, is this the feeding area? Yes. Okay. Wow, pretty zoo. You guys will get your food in a minute. <laughs> Here you go, guys. Oh, yummy. Doesn't that just look yummy? Mmm, yummy. Yum. Oh, delicious. Mmm, yummy. This guy's not eating. Poe, aren't you hungry? I like this game. I want a game like this without the horror. Just go and pet the animals. <laughs> oh, I don't like that smile. Okay. My bad. Great. Now put on the MFE. What's that? Mobile fecal extractor. Oh. In simpler terms, a shit sucker. You've eaten shit before. <laughs> now you're going to suck it. I don't know. Why do we need all this? We need to constantly monitor the health of the animals. And taking excrement for tests is one of your key tasks. A oh. hundred thousand a year, Paul. A hundred thousand fucking American dollars. <laughs> you just have to collect the shit. Okay. Come wow. on, Paul. Don't chicken out. All right. Well, let's go. Go get their poopy. Let's go find their poopy. Oh wow, it's like steaming. Wow. Wow, yummy. Wow. Did I get enough? Is that enough? No, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, I did miss it. Wow. Now take the TIS. To avoid unnecessary questions, it's a thermal imaging system. You can just call it a thermal imager. It's needed to determine the body temperature of our animals. I don't like your smile. You look like in you look like you're in pain. Uh, okay. Where's the TI or the Good. TIS? Now install it and measure the temperature of the giraffe. Bow. Thirty-nine point nine degrees. Okay. I'm assuming that's Celsius. I don't know what that is in American. 39.1, that seems okay. Bo and Cleo are good. Is there someone else? How's Poe looking? Ooh, Poe's a little warm. Poe's a little on the warm side. You doing okay, Poe? Oh, you're asleep. I guess that's good. I won't wake you. I was gonna give you a pet, but blood syringe. Come closer to the animal when it's immobile. We'll start collecting blood. Oh, I bet we'll have to do that here in a minute. As you can see, one of the giraffes isn't doing well. We need to make a dart with Temperalax. It's a medication for normalizing the temperature of animals. By the way, it was developed by one of the local eggheads. Interact with the terminal and press the exit and closure button. Okay. 
I feel like a lot of the, the voice terminal, lines. You can check all the analyses you've collected in this enclosure. I feel like a lot of the voice lines are like very quick. Like, it, it seems like kind of like almost unnatural. Like the voice acting seems fine. All right, take the trolley back. Do I have to make some medications too? Well, you studied chemical technology in Indiana. You'll manage. Damn. How do you know all this? Trust me, it's not something worth being surprised about here. But I barely lasted six months there. I got picked out in the first year. No worries, that should be enough to mix a couple of ingredients following a ready-made formula. <laughs> yeah, it seems like the voice line, like there's not like a lot of rest between a lot of the voice lines. It's just like, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, walking back. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for getting out of the way. Appreciate it. Congratulations, Paul. You've just come closer to success and the well-being of your family. Now, go and load the collected fecal matter into the biomaterial receiver. Don't carry anything into the car. Everything must be sterile. And don't forget to put the shit sucker back in its place. Uh, Whoa. Why are you so jumpy? Now you need to load the trolley what? into the train. What, what was that? This, press the lever inside the car. Was that supposed to be like him like teleporting here? I I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. The audio was just like really loud. That scared me more than anything. Excellent. Now this is our mobile vet station. To make temporal lax, you need to load the station with enough vials. I did it this time, but in the future, you'll have to gather the vials yourself to cook it up. But keep in mind, chum, there are not so many vials. Think twice before using them. One, okay, Temporalax, create. Perfect, now take the dart from the dart dispenser. Yeah, I don't know, the voice acting seems like good but it seems like almost robotic i don't know if anyone else gets that vibe but cool you've got temporal axe now loaded into the veterinary gun it's in the gadget trolley cool you've got temporal axe like i don't know i don't know i think it's probably fine but it sounds just kind of like robotic you know what i'm saying All right aim oh okay so i gotta shoot uh gotta go shoot a giraffe Help, I'm a little confused. Okay, take the vet gun, got it, and load it with the Temperalax using the PDA. Take the vet gun. Oh, use, okay. Good. Got it. Now the only thing left is to dart the sick giraffe. Okay. So can I just, can I just walk over there? Okay. The sick giraffe, Paul. Be careful, don't confuse Bo with you're the sick one, Poe. You've cured all the animals. That was kind of a sad way to cure all the animals. Yay, I cured all the animals. Is this where the horror elements start? What's in storage? I can't get in. Okay. So everything went smoothly? Seems like it. I did this for the first time. Hopefully he'll get better soon. Well, don't doubt that. We need to get back to the hub. Okay. Where do I put the gun again? Put it... I thought it was like here. Is it over here? Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. So then we need to go to the hub. Wow, the zoo. Okay. Let's go, Paul. Escort me to the exit. It's time to leave you alone with our lovely zoo facilities. 
Okay. Every zookeeper is entitled to a service car. This one's mine. Damn! And if you perform well tonight, you'll get one in the morning. Is that your okay. wife? Should I tell her you're staying here for the night? Keep in mind, I'll lock you in until morning. No problem. I think she'll figure it out and go home soon. As you wish. Good luck, Paul. Don't mess up. Okay. Bye, my lovely wife. I don't know if I trust this guy. This is a uh... dude. He's got a nice ass car. Look at him. <laughs> he's whipping that. Oh shit! <laughs> Bro's out of here, dude. All right. Paul, you entered here. Who knows how long ago? You're not answering calls. I'm worried. Can I, can I just yell through the door? Lily, sweetheart. Oh, Sorry, didn't hear you right away. Everything's okay. They put me on probation, but I had to start immediately. You should just go home. I'll be back in the morning and tell you everything. Paul, but I saw them lock you up. It's not normal. Yeah, it's just protocol here. They took away my phone and made me sign an NDA. And all I have to do is feed and treat the animals. Oh, uh, and by the way, uh, there's plenty of meat here. I want my girls to finally eat normal food. I'll be right back. Don't go away. There's plenty of... Put a meat brick for Lily in the parcel drop box. What the hell? <laughs> I don't know if I like that. Where was the, uh... The food? It's over here. I, I don't know if I'd be feeding, like, zoo animal meat to my daughter, but... Okay, how did I access? I know it's that room. Oh, I gotta get the card out probably, right? Okay, I'm learning, give me time. So that's some herb and vegetable. Oh, you can sprint with it, cool. That's helpful. Okay, herb, fish, meat. Doesn't seem like there's any meat left. That's a little uh, concerning. <laughs> Just nondescript meat. Lily, are you here? Yeah. Take this. Give Gina a kiss from daddy. It's time for me to work. Do we get to see her like walk away with the food? No. Okay. Well, now what if we need the meat, bro? Okay. Where are we going next? I can't do that. I guess maybe we just load the trolley up with a bunch of stuff. Maybe. Oh, we're out of fish entirely. Okay. I guess we'll just take some herb. Might as well, right? But we're out of fish and meat, so if we need that, I don't really know. I don't really know how we get that. Okay. Check the enclosure, feed the animals. Okay. Oh, we can kind of go wherever we want at this point. Um, We'll do wallaby next. Let's go see the wallabies. I don't really know much about a wallaby. Are they kind of like a kangaroo? I don't really know. I've heard the term wallaby. All right, well, another day, another dollar. I don't really know what kind of food do they need? Okay, well, wallaby, they need vegetable and herbal. So we'll cook. Animals can vomit if you deviate from the recipe 20%. Okay. This is total weight of, oh God. Okay, this is a lot harder than the tutorial. Okay, total weight is 86 or 
This is this would be like 4.2 right in the middle. I don't know here. Okay, I'm at oh okay, 2.1. That was good. There's a 0.1 deviation. Okay, and then we need to cut the vegetable. I need to cut off one. I'm kind of the goat. I mean, it's not perfect, but that's crazy. Okay. So now we should have, oops, we should have food. Yeah, it's in the bucket. All right, we good to, can I eject this now? No. How do I get this out again? Check the enclosure feeding animals. Okay. How do I, how do I get the cart off again? Cause I'll need the cart. That's the brick trolley thing. I'm missing a step. I'm missing a step. Oh God. Oh God, I'm miss. Oh, right there. I'm dumb. Wallaby station. All right. Here we go, dragging it along. Here we go. I gotta answer the phone. What the hell is this? Night zookeeper, Paul Connolly. Oh, thank God, finally. Uh, please don't hang up. I've been trying to reach my husband all day. He's a scientist, Clarence J. Summers. People usually call him CJ. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm here alone. Please check for me. He should be in the lab. Uh, is there a lab here? Oh, I understand. You're new. Then one last request. Look in his locker in the break room. Code 1768. Ma'am, this doesn't feel right. Paul, I'm begging you. CJ needs to take his medication regularly. I just want to make sure he has them with him. Just open the locker. That's all. I'll call back. Okay. Well, where is the break room? Can I just take these? Okay. Oh, it's Anthony. Someone else's. Just saw something horrible. I shot lethal dart, but one wasn't enough. It took around 300 milliliters, but it worked. Fuck, it worked. I'm alive. I'm not sure if I should help this woman. I already had enough problems as is. I need to give some meat to my wife. Oh, okay, these are my, I see. Okay, well, I will check in the break room if I find a break room. <laughs> I have not found a break room yet, so. We'll just kind of continue on our day, I suppose. Okay. Welcome to the wallaby enclosure. All right. Hello, Wally, Sally, and Penny. Can I give you guys pets? Ah. Ah, the baby. Hi, guys. All right. Well, let's get you some food. We'll start with the food. Oh, you guys want food? Okay. Amy, Amy, you want food? Here we go. Mmm, yummy salad. Mmm. Look at those mystery chunks. Yummers. Yummers. Mystery chunks. Mmm. Uh, what's next? I need. So they'll probably start pooping here in a minute. Uh, but we need to check their temperatures. Okay, Penny and Sally are good. Amy, how are you looking? Amy! God damn it, Amy. Oh, well you shit right in front of me. Okay. Amy, how are you looking? Ah, oh, stay still, Amy. God damn it. Oh, there's like another part of this enclosure. In the trailer, didn't something go like horribly wrong here? There was one up here. I don't have Wally yet. 
Amy's running around from me though. Amy, stand still for two seconds. Stand still, Amy. Okay, I got it. Okay, they're all good temperature. That's good. Now I think I just need to suck up the poop. I need to collect blood and feces, but I think we just need to collect the poop for now. Where's my poop sucker? Let's just take one more lap. I think I got all their poop. I'm gonna call that good enough on the poop. Do I need to collect their blood? How do I collect their blood? UV flashlight? Okay, I don't think I need that yet. What is this? I don't know what this is. What the fuck? Okay, yeah, I don't know what this I don't know what this is. I don't like it though. Blood syringe. Do I need to collect their blood? Guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Sally. Can I collect like multiple? Oh, it swaps it out. Okay. We're not gonna change out the needle. Okay, well, if one of them has some disease in the blood, they all now have it. Because we're not switching out the... Okay. Amy, Amy, come back. Does that symbol mean that you're scared of me? I don't blame you. I'm chasing you with the freaking needle. This has to be a sound reader. Okay. Penny got... Her Are they doing dirty stuff? Why am I measuring sound around them? Heal the animals. I don't think I got, did I get penny sound? I did. Amy has bad sound. It's okay, Wally, I'm gonna pet you again. Okay, Sally's good on sound. But Amy's got bad sound, whatever that means, okay. Measure the temperature, measure the sound. Okay, so now I need to submit the blood and the feces. Okay. All right, guys, I'll be back. Vet station. Okay, all their poop is good. <laughs> They're all good on poop. How do I submit the blood? Oh, apparently I didn't get Amy's. Required for blood collector. Oh, donate blood. Okay, Amy's sound is jacked up. What do you have? Migraine, maybe. Well, it could be migraine or it could be, or it could be leptospirosis. I gotta go check her blood. I gotta go check her blood. Amy, what you gonna do? I think I could spend with you a little, a little longer if I do. Okay, I actually just can't take her blood. I just actually cannot take her blood. Amy, Amy, Amy. I, I, I like, I actually just can't take her blood. Okay, well, I'm gonna diagnose you with a migraine, but if it's something else and you kill me, I'm sorry. I, I, I legit, I, I can't. That, that, that's the only thing I need. Yeah, so it's literally just, it has to be a migraine or leptospirosis. What heals a migraine? How do I know, how do I know what fixes a migraine? Does it not, it doesn't say, it just. Okay, that's information I would like to know. How do I fix migraine? A for, select a formula. I Is there like a, is there like a lookup? Thing? Is there a way I can search? Because it's a migraine. Meningitis. Treatment of migraines. Nero shield. Let's make that. Okay. We got we got Nero shield. Now I need the dart gun. And then we're going to. I sent you a parcel with the vials of the active substance. I think you'll find them useful. You can find them in the parcel box. Okay. I will. Uh, I will come back for that. Okay, so we got Nero Shield. So we're gonna inject her with Nero Shield. And then we'll collect her blood. Open and close. Thank you, Amy. 
Okay, Amy, I need you to settle down for just a second. You feel better? Well, that was... I hit her, right? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, 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 oh. So maybe it wasn't... Well, so it... So she puked, so it probably wasn't... Um, yummy. It probably wasn't a migraine. It was probably the other thing. Let's double check here for any vials or anything because i think the other thing needed more ingredients which doc did send us more ingredients i think we just need to load everything up though come back unfortunately i'm liking this game so far it's just it's a little confusing i think it's gonna i think there's just a bit of a learning curve which is fine. I think it works. I think it's good. Um, okay. So the parcel box was over here. Oh. Damn. Thanks, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> That's nice. And we'll take whatever's in here, too. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Anything else in here? Oh, this is where CJ's thing was. Oh, cool, it just auto puts it in for us. Okay. Floppy disk. It is PDA. Testing experimental meds on mutated specimens. They don't work during the frustration phase. Pathological cell division process must be completed in other words, the organism must fully mutate. Access to experimental drugs are located in the vet station. Okay. Well. Is there like a, there was a floppy disk I had, right? Can I do anything with that? Guess not yet. All right. Back to the wallaby enclosure. So we know it wasn't a migraine. So realistically, our other option, if it's sound related and wasn't a migraine, the only other thing it could be is leptospirosis. And there was something down here that treated leptospirosis, I believe. Yeah, leptovital. Great. Thank you. Now this should be good to go. So I'm gonna grab the blood syringe and the thing here. Lepto vital. Amy, we're gonna get y'all healed up. We're gonna get y'all healed up, Amy. Okay, let's get a little closer so I don't miss my shot. You cured all the animals. Oh, cool. So just counted. Perfect. You feeling better, Amy? Aw. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it, Amy. Glad you're doing better. And we did it, chat. First one done. They're all healthy. Okay. Night Zookeeper, Paul Connolly. I'm sorry, ma'am. I haven't had a chance to look around yet. What's with the ma'am? Oh, nothing. A woman called, looking for someone named CJ, searching for her husband. That bitch again. Oh. Although CJ's no saint either. Always that hanging bitch around again. some girls, well. lying to his wife that he's in the lab. And we oh. don't even have labs here. Anyway, forget it. Why am I calling you? There'll be a food delivery soon, and you need to grind some fresh meat. Got it? Yes, sir. Excellent. I'll call you later. Okay. Need to go grind some fresh meat. All righty. I can grab me some fresh. Oh, what the fuck? Am I am I puking? Oh, I thought there was. <laughs> I thought I was just like pissing black or something. Holy shit! Okay, wow. Well, that's probably not a good sign. Well, anyway, uh, back to the hub. All righty. Supply lever. Oh. 
Um. Hello? Damn. I, I mean, Night Zookeeper, Paul Connolly. Don't worry, Paul. It's me again. How's it going? Do you need any explanations? Oh, I definitely do. I thought you had beef or, uh, I don't know, lamb in the fridge. And there... And there's a long-necked pig. You see, Paul, dozens of parasites spread from the mother every day. They infiltrate our animals and they turn into... What? How shall I put it? Well, monsters. And they have specific tastes. They need meat. What the... What the hell is the mother? <laughs> Relax. The mother is securely locked away. Not much is known about her, so they stop What are, what are we talking about, about right it. now? You know your tasks. Don't worry about the rest. Fuck. I gave a piece of meat to my wife. You did what? <laughs> Sorry, Paul, but it's really ridiculous. Life gives you a chance to become a worthy, well-off person, and you take the easy way. Descending to simple theft. There won't be any more indulgence. So if they say grind bodies, you grind. They'll say kill, you kill. Got it? Got it. Just tell me where my phone is. I'll call Lily. Maybe she and Gina haven't eaten yet. I won't allow it, chum. If you call your wife, it'll be a direct violation of the NDA. No, Paul, you won't drag me into this. Oh. You'll have to fully feel the consequences. See, I told you not to give away meat, bro. Whining and go like, we didn't know what that meat was. Uh, and of course, it's a human. Oh, she's alive. Oh, she's alive. Well, now we're getting another phone call. Hello? The night zookeeper, Paul Connolly. Why so grim? Problems? Uh, what the hell is going on here? Fuck. I almost threw a live girl into the grinder. Where did she come from? Alive? Well, well. 20 milozylazine and she's still with us. But fortunately, this problem is easy to solve. Pull the drop lever and the girl will turn into a couple of bricks, just like you've dealt with before. Easy peasy. Fuck. Uh, I suspected this place wasn't uh, clean, but uh, why else such big bucks? Uh, I could grind a couple of bodies, but I'm not going to get involved in crime and risk my family. Fuck you. Well, no one is asking you. In general, look at your hands. What the hell is this? Did you oh, ew, me? ew, 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 ew. Poison. <laughs> what what the I fuck am? is that? A desperate housewife. No, Paul. Uh... I infected you. And by the way, I did it for your own good. You see dozens of parasites spread out of the mother every day. They infiltrate our animals and they transform, to put it mildly. Well, let's say they mutate. What the hell is this damn mother? <laughs> Not much is known about her, so they study her. But right now, the same parasite is squirming inside you. Uh, and if you mean, well, they'll take it out. I don't like and it. And if not, who knows? Maybe it will be even better for Lily and Gina. Fuck! Oh, I have to throw her into the grinder. Hey, lady. There is a nudity filter in this game and I have nudity turned off. So I'm imagining task has failed. Oh. Yeah, I probably needed to. <laughs> I like the sensor thing still being stuck there. Uh, Yeah, so I didn't I didn't realize I thought I was just going to talk to her. I was I was honestly prepared just to drop her in the grinder. If I'm being honest here. Um. What do I do now that I've given you access to the recipes for the infected specimens in the kitchen kitchen factory? I need I need meat. I don't I don't think there's gonna be any meat. I think I need to grind her. Yeah, I think I needed to grind her. Hey lady, can can I put you back on the hook? I think I I think I actually need to grind her. Okay. Um I'm gonna quit and just kind of see where the save file was. Cause as much as I wanna be like nice and friendly, I think that's just gonna make the game harder. Yeah, okay, well it's saved. 
I was prepared to pull the... I thought I was just gonna, like, talk to her. But... I guess not. I think I'm gonna need meat. So that's a problem. And I don't think there's gonna be any meat in here. Yeah. Yeah. I think... I think I might have made a mistake. I guess it's good that we saved her, but I, I think we're gonna need that meat. Um... All right, well. We'll, uh... <laughs> we'll just see how this goes. What's the next exhibit? Gorilla? The gorilla probably needs meat, bro. We could skip the penguin. We're gonna do penguin, because I think the gorilla's gonna need meat. Penguin station. All right. Same drill, get their, get all they stuff. Oops. Oh, I gotta make their food first. Ooh, my bad. My bad. Let's get them fed. What all do they need? Penguins need fish, and I don't have fish. Yeah, we gotta do gorilla next, I think. Yeah, I think we gotta do gorilla next. Because we don't have any fish. Can't go to another... Okay, well... I don't know how we're gonna feed... Well, okay. Well, I guess we'll just figure this out. Because we can't feed without fish. There is no fish left. I don't have any fish. All right, penguins. I do love penguins, though. I'm excited. I keep getting that one penguin on my TikTok. The big emperor penguin. I don't remember what his name is. Hello, Misty and Daisy. I'm... Hi. Oh, I don't like your eyes. Oh, I don't like your eyes very much. Are all of your eyes like that? Are penguins' eyes red like that? No, yours are like yellow. You're not looking too hot. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have any food for you guys. Coco, Luna, okay, well. Looks like there's five of you. You all seem pretty damn sick. Um, I can't really collect your poop, but I can start by, let's do your temperatures. Oh, you're puking. Okay, Misty is fine. Oh, you're all puking everywhere. Come on, Coco. Ah, oh, fuck. Keep going around the corners. Can I go up here? Oh, I'm sliding. Good, Daisy and Luna are good. Tinker is a little warm. Did I get all of your temps? Okay, we've got Misty. Okay, I can't collect their feces without feeding. Um, yeah, this could be a problem. Um, I'm gonna try to get all of your guys' blood. You guys cool with that? I can't get like any of your blood. Okay, your, your neck is like purple and the rest of yours is yellow. That, Rocky doesn't seem to be doing too well. I can't get any of your guys' blood. This is, uh, this is a problem. Oh, Luna. Okay, well, um, uh, so I need, I need to feel the feet. Maybe if I go back now, the game will be like, oh, you don't have any fish. Oh, I probably need to 
I mean, I could just YOLO it and just start trying to heal them based off of like these three have problems with their uh, temperature. I can't really go off of much here without being able to feed them. Maybe if I go back, there will be a shipment of fish. Let, let's try that. Maybe if I go back to the hub, there will be a shipment of fish. Because I kind of need fish. The problem is you have to, it's annoying because in order to open that door, you have to open up the brick trolley. You have to drag it all the way over. I could just feed them like the wrong food. I think they they just puke though. They might shit it out. Yeah, see, we don't have any fish. Oh, lever. Oh! Oh! You can restock the food! Oh, meat. Okay, so the meat is the only thing you can't restock because you have to grind it up. Oh, so we do have fish. Okay. Can I like put this back? I can't. Can I stack on top of this? Yes. That makes so much sense. Okay, I actually need significantly, okay. Can I recycle that? What happens? Oh, that goes back up account. Okay. So we'll put the vegetables. Okay. Okay. I understand now. That helps. I see. I didn't know there was a lever that you could press. I think it's... I think we only need two fish. Can I check that? Am I able to check that in here? Wow. Okay. That... <laughs> That helps a lot. And then what I'm hoping is that, um, is that we get another human sacrifice for, uh, for the gorilla habitat. So I wonder if there's different endings, like if you save them all. Okay, let's go and do this. I need to cut off two, ew, ew, look at that slab of meat. I do not like that. Okay, so this is nine, so this is like four and a half. Half of four and a half would be like here. So like here maybe? Okay, well. Is that gonna be enough? Okay, well. Let's head back to the penguin. I cut it a little short. I'm wondering if I should recut. I'll try it. I'll try it, see what happens. Maybe once they eat, they'll be settled down enough that I can collect more of their blood. I can definitely collect their poop. Okay. We're cooking, guys. We're cooking. The fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ. What the hell? Okay. Well, I let one get infected. Um. Where is the fucking, uh, not the tranquilizer. I need the lethal injection. Make me three of the lethal injections. Oh God, the cart's over here. Darko. Well, so much for saving the animals. Shit. It's like actually just a boss fight. Oh God. Okay. I've got to reload. Oh God. Oh, it picked me up. How do I, okay. Let me down, let me down. No, no, no. Okay, I'm loaded. Where's it at? A 
seen one more hit on it. God, it's coming. It's coming. Oh, I don't want to go there. Fuck. I need one more hit on it. Okay, this should be safe for a second. Reload. Reload, please. Okay, come on. Which one got infected? Was it Rocky? Is this Rocky? What the Jesus fuck? Well, let me grab my pooper thing. I think I can just suck that right out of it. Damn. That was, uh, that was kind of a lot. I guess that's what happens whenever you don't like treat them in time. Cause I had to go back and get fish. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So now the question is, can I drop this off in the, yeah, I think I can drop this off here. Now we can get back on our grind. Wow, that was, that was kind of cool actually. That was actually kind of sick. <laughs> That's kind of scary. Okay guys, well, um, we lost Rocky. R.I.P. Um. <laughs> but hey, I got you guys food. Who's hungry? Who's hungry? You guys hungry? Mmm, yummy fishy bits. Mmm. Eat up, guys. Eat up. So hopefully now I can get... Do I have the blood? No, this is the... I need the blood thing. Ideally. And then we can put the bucket away. And they'll be ready for poop in here soon. Okay, I still can't get blood from you guys. Tinker's running warm. Get blood from... Whatever's going on over there, I get blood from you. One of them's just like clipped out of bounds. Can I go in the water? No. Who did we lose? Wait. Tinker, Misty, Daisy, Rocky, Coco. Which one turned into a fucking monster? Which one are you? <laughs> okay, well, did you guys poop at least? I gave you fish. Did I not cut enough fish? Uh, are they not gonna poop? What is this? Oh, that's their poop. Okay, it's just like diarrhea for some of them. Okay. Yeah, one of them's got diarrhea. Well, in that case, well, I don't really need to use this terminal anymore, do I? <laughs> they kind of they kind of broke down that door themselves, didn't they? Okay. Well, we can see which one of them. Was oh, there a door here? Oh. Storage. Anything that could prove usefully? It's a, someone's PDA, Anthony Hopwood. When they turn, the meat can calm them down. Well, I didn't have any meat. So I kind of just had to, had to fucking kill it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Another Anthony Hopwood tape. I finally found a way to cure that damn mutant with the experimental meds. I found I found access on some CJ's uh, PDA. Looks like he's an important dude around here. Gave him the gave the mutant an injection of Toxus Feralis, and the shit really worked. Awesome news, by the way. It seems mutants can mimic different diseases. I'll keep an eye on it. Okay, well I already killed one of them, so I think that's kind of out of the question. Um, but Toxis Feralis, 
in the case if something goes wrong. Well, I can't go in until the cart's back here. Damn it. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Don't go crazy on me now. I'm getting you more food so I can collect more poop. Wait, why isn't the door? Oh, do I have to empty out the feces first? The one diarrhea shit I got. Does that open the door? Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, well, let's... Let's cut up some more paint. Oh, food bucket is not connected. What do you... Hold on. We're getting here. We're getting here. Cook. Okay. So total weight right now. So this would be like 3.55. So this would be... I'm still a little low. Okay, so this would be a little over 2.5. So we're gonna go here. I keep getting, damn it, I keep getting 1.9. I need more. If I accept, can I? Wrong one, wrong one. Oh. Okay. This will be good. It's like right here. No, no, no. I keep thinking of it backwards. I keep thinking of it backwards. I don't have enough fish. Oh man, I've done bad. I've done bad. I I kept thinking about it backwards. That was free. Damn it. Okay. Well, here's what we can do. We can try to heal whoever's looking good right now. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> so we don't have Misty's blood. We need to go look at Misty. We need to go look at Misty and see what, um, see if she looks fine. If Misty's, no, Misty isn't fine. So it's gotta be that, so we don't have Misty's blood. Misty's probably having a blood only issue. Bacteria or other pathogens enter the bloodstream. I, I really, I'm not smart enough for this game, dude. We're, BSI is a condition where bacteria or other pathogens enter the bloodstream. It's not influenza. So all of these, unless it says BSI, I don't think it's rotavirus. Bacterial infections, maybe? Uh, sure. And that's going on that's going on Misty, right? That's going on Misty. I don't, I really don't know. <laughs> I, I, I really don't know. Maybe some of them have pooped since then. I need the, the, the gun, but I can't. The problem is a lot of them aren't calm enough to collect blood. So I wonder if I need to use like the tranquilizer on them to collect blood first. Oh, cool. Someone dropped some poop. Someone dropped a load. Good. That'll help. We're just gonna leave this here, I suppose. Honestly, Misty looks fine, no? Uh, Misty looks fine. I don't think that did anything. She's just kind of scared now of that. Uh, did anyone else drop any 
drop any turds. Someone keeps puking. Okay, I'm going to assume that Misty is fine. Oh, perfect. Okay, this will help a lot, actually. We are gonna get through this. So, Coco and Tinker both have bad poop. They've got the bad poop. And they have bad temperature. Which, we don't have their blood. So it's either salmonellosis or gastroenteritis. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming enterocure, which is a gastrointestinal normalization, is probably what we need. So we'll try to... And these are gonna go to Coco and Tinker. Okay, Coco and Tinker are gonna get these. Did that help? I, I don't know. I don't know if that helped. <laughs> I don't know if that did what I wanted it to. I don't know, dude. It's hard to tell whenever, maybe I just need to buy a bunch of tranquilizers, trank them all, and then collect their blood while they're down. <laughs> is that the only way to that that's kind of a sad way to do that but really like the biggest thing is i have two variables here so that's making it hard okay blood syringe and then we'll just buy a bunch of tranquilizers uh, <laughs> that might just have to be the move these guys are all too frantic oh, i need to reload Okay, I tranquilized Rocky. Is he gonna drop down? Bro, I put a tranquilizer in you. Hey, Misty, I've already got your blood. We're good. You seem to be doing okay. Good girl. Oh, Rocky's asleep now. So now I can take his blood. Okay. Well, buddy. Let me just... There we go. Thank you. There's another one. Okay, who else do I not have your blood from? I've got Misty, Rocky. I need... Coco, Tinker. I think Luna was our monster. Or I got daisies. Coco and... Okay, Coco, I need you to fall asleep now. Well, we got, okay. We got Coco and Tinker who need salmonella treatment. We can assume probably Rocky as well. Is an infection caused by the salmonella bacteria. So anything that cures a bacterial infection, right? This should work. So we're gonna try three of them. It should definitely on, this should cure Coco and Tinker. I'm iffy about Rocky, but we can try it. Coco, Tinker, Rocky. I'm liking this game a lot. I can imagine that if I was streaming, I would be like trying to get off stream. But because I'm recording it, I don't feel as bad because I can just edit all the boring parts out for you guys. Okay. Um, probably need Tranquilizer. This is for Coco, for, for Tinker, Rocky, and Coco. Okay, Coco. Oh, it just instantly, okay. So it instantly shows whenever you fix them. Perfect. Rocky, I gotta reload. I'm iffy on if it'll work for Rocky. I don't know if it'll work for Rocky. Okay, Rocky, I guess not. Where's Tinker? Tinker, I gotta reload. Am I shooting Tranquilizer right now? Yeah, I think I just loaded Tranquilizer. Oopsies, Tinker. Tinker's good. Rocky's probably out somewhere. Yeah, sorry, Rocky. I didn't mean to do that. My bad. Let's hope this works on you, buddy. You cured all the animals. Good shit. We've delivered some fresh meat. Head to the hub and deal with it. Okay. Well, uh, hey, we did it, chat. <laughs> I don't think we really cured them all, but we'll uh, we'll take take what we can get. 
All right, yeah, fuck the penguin enclosure. I am I am done messing with that. Oh, of course I'm puking again. It happens, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, that shit's really getting to me. Okay, well, the cart's loaded up. Is the whole thing that I'm gonna turn into a monster by the end of this, or? Is that like the whole thing? So the only one we have left to do is the gorilla, but let's do the hub. I think we're gonna need meat. I think we're gonna need meat. Maybe this one's already dead, so I don't have to feel like morally conflicted. <laughs> maybe, maybe this person is actually dead and won't be screaming. What about the person on my couch? Are they alive? Are they, oh, hey. You found some clothes, that's good. It's okay. I won't touch you. I'm the night zookeeper, Paul Connolly. And you? Sarah Watkins, investigative journalist for Pine Valley. Thanks for saving me. Too bad I can't return the favor. What do you mean? You probably already know that you've been injected with something, some kind of parasite. You also know something about these parasites. Yeah. But how do you know? Sorry, bro. Journalists don't reveal their sources. I can only say that we don't have much time. And the main thing now is to open this stupid door with a biometric lock to gather evidence for the article and expose these bastards. Can you help me? I don't think I can. It's worth a shot. Sorry. Sorry, it was worth a shot. Well, uh... Please don't be alive. Please just be a body. You're not alive, right? Yeah, I can't even pick you up. You're bleeding from the eyes. This is a bad situation all around, but at least I don't have to worry about killing a person that could have been alive. Okay. The deed is done. Bio waste filter. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. The severed hand. Uh, whose hand is that? Um, the severed hand added. I put the severed hand in here and get more meat or yeah that's gross okay well didn't she have a tattoo on her hand <laughs> excuse me do you have a tattoo I swear you had a tattoo on your hand Maybe not. You had tattoos on your arms. Some weird, like, cloning shit going on in this place. That'd be wild. Yeah, my arms are not looking great. Hey. Okay, let's put the meat in here. I don't know how much meat I'm going to need for the grill and culture, but I'm assuming I'm going to need meat. Let's, uh, let's check. Are the gorillas going to be chill with me, or are they just going to be hostile? Oh, they don't even need me. Why did I think the gorillas were carnivores? Okay. Well, I mean, they might be. Just as soon as I guess maybe don't feed them meat like that. I guess the meat can calm down the the evil stuff, right? Well, what all do I need? I need 
vegetables and herbs, I think, is what it said. Herbs and vegetables, which I have... I should have plenty of in the... Uh, what is infected? Oh. So nothing here for... They don't normally feed any of them... They don't normally feed any of them meat. But if one becomes corrupted, you add meat to what they're doing. So it might be a good idea to just have some meat on board. Okay. Well, we don't need fish for now. Okay, I'm learning, I'm learning, chat. Okay, we got herbs and vegetables. Let's grab another vegetable. And we'll grab two of the meat. Okay. I see, I see the vision. All right, let's go and cook up our uh, gorilla food though. Oh, brick trolley not connected, my bad. My, I'm stuck, my bad. Skadoosh. Okay, gorilla. Oh, the normal one? No. Normal one doesn't need meat. It was just bugging. Okay. Okay. So this is six and a half. So that puts that at three. So then half of three is one and a half to go a little more. We were like right there. Oh, we are up. That was that was way too much. Okay, well, uh, we'll try cutting the vegetable now. So half would be this is like four and a half. Half of four and a half, you're looking at like two point two five. Go a little more. Right there. Ooh, 2.3. Uh, we can start there. And then we'll bring. Yeah, we've got enough that we can cook more. We'll start there. And if I need more of them to poop, more of them, we can add more. Okay. All right. Hey, you have fun trying to break out. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and head to the gorilla enclosure. I think that's the last one out of the first half. I'm assuming this is like the first half of the game. And then after this, we can do zebra, moose, hippopotamus, elephant. Um, let's do gorilla. Clean the bio waste filter. I already did that, but okay. I did that purely out of curiosity. So we're good there. We're all good there. All right. I don't even think I can do that right now. Okay. Gadget trolley. I hope the gorillas are gonna be chill with me. Cause there's a chance the gorillas aren't gonna be chill with me and I'm gonna have to like trank them to do everything, which would kind of suck. There's a area there. Okay. I hear them. Sound like elephants or something. <laughs> All right, Dexter Pepper Thorn Chief. You guys chill with humans? Hey, you guys chill with humans? I hear like some snarling. Can I pet you? Oh, you're just kind of static, but oh, hey. What's up, guys? Oh, they're fighting. Okay, well, let's start with food, guys. Okay. We're just gonna assume that's what they normally do. Hopefully they won't be aggressive with me. Oh god, they're all they're all getting in on it. Okay. Shit, well you guys want food? Damn. 
Use your guys' slop. What's up, Thor? Eat your slop and drop some shits, I suppose. Meanwhile, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna take everyone's temps. I don't really need to suck up the poop yet. There we go. Let's grab everyone's, I still don't know what the UV flashlight's for. They're like secrets, I wonder. That would make sense. Maybe that's more for like later game. Maybe there's like another vital I need to take on like the moose or something. He can go up here. Secrets, hello. Oh, there's already some poop. Go switch modes. Task complete, what? Oh, feed the animals. That counted as feeding them all. Okay, uh, let's grab your guys' guys' temperatures. Hey, Thor. Thor's chilling. Oh, I almost got Thor. Got Chief out of the deal, though. Okay. Thor's good. Pepper's heading up here. Excuse me, guys. I need to head up. They're making sounds. Sup, Dexter. Dexter is good. Their temperatures look fine so far. These guys I might have to trank in order to grab their uh, their blood, though. So I don't think they're going to be very chill with me. They're all good temperature-wise. Okay. Um, now is probably a good time to do some poop sucking. See how close we are on that. All right. I'm kind of dropping some frames here again. Whoa, there we go. There should be four poops. I've got three. Oh, four. Perfect. We're playing the game properly right now. This is great. Okay. So we got poop in there. And then let's do the sound. Let's see. The only thing will be blood. Blood will be hard, but we can measure the sound. What are you guys doing sound-wise? Dexter's good. The war is having some issues with audio. Making some scary sounds. Anyone in here? No. Pepper, how are you doing on sound? Pepper's good on sound. Chief is good on sound. Okay. Well, if I had to guess, you guys probably... Yeah, you guys probably won't be too friendly with me, right? If I had to guess, you guys probably don't want me taking your blood, but I can try. I think I'm just gonna have to trank them. Yeah. Oh, you're like angry. Okay. All right. Well, I think the plan is let's go put all their poop in, check all their poop. And then from there we can trank them and uh, do all that good stuff. Check all the poop. I wonder what the monster gorillas are gonna look like. Let's, uh, can I get off this? Yeah, let's check what's in here. Poster, there's a door for storage. Oh, we're going deep into the facility. Is there like labs down here? There's a phone. I'd be shocked if we get a call from there before the end of this. Oh, there's Anthony Hopwood again. 
Damn, something strange is happening to me. I'm overwhelming urge to eat this raw meat. My hand grabbed a piece on its own. And I devoured it almost without chewing. The sweet taste in my mouth. Oh, God. It's probably where we're heading, right? That's probably the whole thing, is we're probably heading in that direction. I wonder if the UV light would work down here. That seems like a good place to hide secrets, because it's weird that they give you the UV flashlight and then, like, no... No instruction. I feel like the UV flashlight would be hiding something down here. Maybe not. I'm crazy. This just turns into a regular flashlight, too. Nope, I'm just crazy. Excuse me for trying. Okay. Guy was hungry, what can you say? Alright. Uh, I need to put the poop in first. Can't take poop into the thing. That's, that would make sense. Now, let's see. Everyone's poop is clean. Everyone's got clean poop. Um, the only person that we're having issues with is Thor has something going on with his, his hearing. So it's probably either just like a, a standard migraine or it's a, lep a leptospirosis. Um, so I think the game plan at this point, actually, I need back in here. Wait, actually, no, I don't. Hold on. How many tranks do I have left? Because I think I made too many when I was dealing with the, um... These are tranquilizers. I need one more tranquilizer. Give me... Yeah, give me one more tranquilizer. And I think I'm going to tranquilize all of them. And then from there, we should be able to collect their blood. And we can just kind of move on from there, I think. Let's grab dart gun and blood syringe. Let's go and load this up with tranquilizer. Can I open this door without having the cart? Yeah. Hey guys. Pepper. Dexter. Thor. Then she needs one. They are not heading to sleep. The chief's down here. There we go. All right. Oop, I did not mean to pet you. That's kind of a kind of a throw. Hey. Sleep well. Who was that? That was Pepper Thor. Chief. And finally, Dexter. I'm thinking the penguin was supposed to be the last one that I did in this section, which is why there were more of them, and I think a lot of them had a lot more going on. I think right here, a few of these guys will probably have only blood issues, and Thor will have the blood and sound issue. I could be wrong, but that's what it seems like. Alright, go and deposit all the blood. 
Thank you. Now. Let's see what we got. Oh, so it's literally just Thor has a migraine. <laughs> Other than that, they're chill. It's literally just Thor with a migraine, which there is a thing down here. I think it's near the bottom that treats my migraines. Yeah, Nero shield. That's literally all we need. Okay, easy collapse, dude. Easy. All right. What the fuck do you mean? Bro just had a, a migraine, bro. Bro just had a migraine. I thought we were chilling, bro. Okay, well, let's see. We could calm them down. This is for Gorilla. I mean, so we either kill it or we try to calm it down. But once we calm it down, what's even the game plan? Because we need the whatever, the, uh, what do you call that? The, okay, wait, so useful for eliminating the parasite mimicking plague. Where's the one mimicking a migraine? Mimicking influenza, mimicking this, mimicking disorders, bacterial infections, parasitic, mimicking migraine. So we need blood. Ooh, okay. So we can save him, but we need blood. Okay, yeah, that's tough. Okay, so the game plan, we're gonna save this dude. We need to get this stuff. So it's using the parasite so we know that he had a migraine. So it wasn't a real migraine. It was it that it was mimicking the migraine. So we need to go in with tranquilizers and grab blood off of one of these dudes. Oh, is he eating one of them? Oh God. Oh, Pepper's dead. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Can I get blood from Pepper? Nope. Yeah, Pepper's dead. Can't get blood from these guys now. Thor, uh... Wait, Thor was the one that was supposed to have the migraine. Okay, Thor... I'm gonna put you to sleep. You need to not go sleep up with the, the monster. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. I don't even know where the monster went. I need your blood. Dude, go to sleep. Wait, is he? That is, okay, so Thor is the monster. Sorry, I'm confused as to what's going on here. Where are all the bodies? Pepper, Chief, where's Dexter? Where the fuck is Dexter? I think Thor is the monster and by tranquilizing it, we calmed him down. I don't know where Dexter is. I don't know where the monster is. I, I, I think the monster is Thor. And whenever I tranquilized it, it calmed him down temporarily. I think that's what happened there. <laughs> but I don't know where Dexter's body is. There's still... Hold on. I just need some animal blood. I mean, so, okay. If Thor is the infected monster, in theory, right? Could we just, I, I mean, he's killed all the other ones, apparently. I don't know where Dexter's body is, but it kind of looks like he's killed everyone. Can I just like go to the giraffe enclosure, grab blood from them and call it a day? 
Maybe the wallaby would be better. Is that an option? Hey guys, can I borrow some blood? Hey Penny, good to see you. Can I just borrow some blood? Okay, so now I've got wallaby blood. Now if we go back to the grill and glow. I think Dexter fucking died. I don't know, and I think Thor, because I was throwing tranks in him, like temporarily turned back into a regular gorilla. So now that we have animal blood, it should be the one mimicking migraines. Mimicking migraine, create. be healed now, right? What the fuck? Where where is the monster one even at? I healed Thor. It should be healed. So maybe Dexter, so maybe Thor just actually has a migraine. So maybe Thor just dead ass actually has a migraine and Dexter is the monster, even though he was perfectly healthy. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I get this game as much as I thought. <laughs> I was under the impression that because all of them were healthy, we can go back to the, the diagnostic as well. Like, all of them are perfectly healthy. Like, Dexter, who's the, who's the monster, apparently, is perfectly healthy. But Thor has a migraine. I thought, oh, that means he's the only one that could have turned into a monster. So then if there's a thing that mimics migraine... Okay, I, I don't know. I guess alternatively, we could try the whole food thing. I have me. We could try the infected gorilla. Okay. So if halfway here is three. This is probably the halfway point there. So probably one and a half. 1.6, okay. Okay. So this food has meat in it. Hold on. This food has meat in it. And it's supposed to calm down the fucked up gorilla, <laughs> I think. Who's up somewhere. Oh, he just killed Thor. Oh, he just killed Thor. I gave you meat! Bro, I gave you meat. Eat it, eat the meat. Poor Thor, dude. I'm sorry. Does that, like, turn it back? What does... Oh. So Dexter is back to being chill. For now, at least. What the fuck does that do though? Okay, I, I'm confused because Dexter is completely healthy and all of the, all of the shots are meant to heal animals that have like, oh, the, the virus is mimicking something, right? But the problem is the only one is Thor. Thor just has a migraine. So we'll just heal Thor's migraine real quick. I think I have, I should still have the thing. I just don't. Okay, I must have shot it on accident. I'm confused at how you're supposed to help those guys besides just killing them. Where's the migraine one? Neuromed, Neuroshield, okay. Well, I guess we can heal Thor. So I don't think the meat really cures. I don't know. 
I, I'm just kind of confused about the mechanics of this. I'm trying to like piece it together because it would make sense in this case if Thor was the one turning into a monster. That would make sense to me. But it's Dexter who we ran all the tests on and he's perfectly fine. So right now we can heal Thor completely. Thor is completely healed now. Do I just have to fucking kill Dexter? Because all of his tests are coming back in perfectly. I wonder if I shoot another one of these in. Oh, okay. So maybe it's not necessarily that he's infected by it, but because Thor was showing a migraine. Or not. Or I'm just wrong. Oh, wait, no, I'm right. Okay, wait, I need one more of these, like, mimicking a migraine things. One more of these, like, mimicking a migraine things. Hold on. Wait, I don't have any more animal blood, though. Wait. <laughs> wait, this is gonna be a problem. Okay, well, let's... Let's go visit the, the wallabies again. <laughs> God, I am kind of jacked up looking right now. Mimicking migraine. That was working. So whenever you make one of those, I think it gives you... Yeah, it gives you three of them, which is enough to, to handle. Okay. We're gonna heal this dude, okay? We're gonna heal this dude. I think we only need one more shot on him, but it might have reset. I'm not sure. Is he healed? Okay, it spit out the parasite, so I guess we can go collect that. Wow, okay, that was a lot. Now I'm puking again, of course. Okay, there's a phone ringing downstairs. Let me go grab the parasite, then I'll grab the phone. I'm assuming that phone will just ring forever. It's probably just Doc being like, Hey, you killed too many animals or something. Yeah, I'll pick up the phone. Parasite hopefully won't go anywhere. I think it's dead. Night zookeeper, Paul Connolly. Hey, Paul, this is Mrs. Summers. Did you find anything? Miss Summers, I'm afraid I couldn't find out anything about your husband. I just know that something strange is happening here. And perhaps your husband didn't tell you much. In any case, he's definitely not here. That's all I know. What? Paul, what do you mean? I'm sorry, ma'am, but I can't tell you more. I just... I don't have the right. I'm sorry. It's better for you to go to sleep. Your husband will probably be back in the morning, and you're worrying for nothing. I apologize again, Miss Summers. Damn. That sucks. Let's go get this parasite. See what happens now. Did I, did I suck it up? I don't know if I sucked it up. It just kind of, it kind of despawned strangely, but it was alive. I don't think the other, okay, so I killed the other one. This one's alive. I don't know what we do with that, but okay. All right, get me out of here. We lost two gorillas. Get me the, get me the fuck out of here. Get me, get me the fuck out of here, dude. There's still a bug where there's just like a green square floating over there. I'm not sure what that is, but. All right. Any news, lady? Why do you need an ax? If you could see yourself, you wouldn't ask. And also, you smell like vomit. Want to freshen up? I guess I should. I'm gonna puke. I'm gonna puke one of the parasites into the toilet now, aren't I? <laughs> Oh, there's just no effects. Okay. She locked me in here. 
sorry, Paul. You can mutate at any moment now. And I want to live. Stay here for a while. Bitch, I saved you! Paul, Paul, it's morning. Where are you, my friend? It's time to check how you handled your probation. Hmm. This is strange. What the hell? <laughs> Loving memory of Alexander Dag and the screenwriter of Zucosis and our dear friend. Aw. That was the end. I got an ending there? What? Was that like the bad ending? Did I get the bad ending because I saved that chick? I, I feel like I was like halfway through the game. There were like four other things to do. I think I got the bad ending because I saved that person. What? That's crazy. I got the bad ending because I decided to be good and save a person, dude. Wow, that's that's wild. I was thinking like, oh, if you save her, she'll like do something, but wow, and there's like no music either. It's just sad. <laughs> a lot of people worked on this though. Damn, just no music, just bad ending. I just mutated. Okay, so there are the voice actors. I think, I think the way that the voice acting was like edited made them sound more robotic than they should have. I, I think there's are like in the way that the sequences were played because it was very like robotic and then it like skipped quickly from sentence to sentence. So I'm glad it wasn't like AI. It, it just gave like a robotic -y vibe. So I was a little concerned about that. But well, for what I played, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was good, but I, I don't like that I got the bad ending through that, you know? Kind of stinks that I didn't really get like a, uh, I even went back to try to change that choice and it had already saved. So production pets, are these just the pets of the devs? That's cute. I don't know. So I guess I'm gonna have to go back and hopefully, I don't know. Is it gonna make me replay the entire game to get the other half of the game? I got the bad ending though, because I, I mutated. And because I didn't get enough work done, Doc didn't get a chance to, to like have my thing removed or whatever. I don't know. I'm kind of curious where this is going to load me up because I'm about to be very, uh, I'm about to be upset if I have to play the entire tutorial again. I should have grinded that lady up, dude. I didn't even, I didn't even know. I thought I was just going to talk to her because she was alive. Oh, a new animal is available. Oh, so I can play the new animal, but what happens story-wise? How, do, how does this work? So it reboots the game. New game plus. Okay, so it just takes you from the point that, that he leaves. Okay. Can I choose not to give my wife the food? Yeah, what if I just leave my wife in the dust? So how does this work? Does it just automatically give me the moose now? And then maybe after I beat... Oh, block trolley's not connected. Okay. Grab two of these. So I wonder if at this point, if I eventually choose to chop up the lady, if that'll give me a different ending. Because I think there's a lot more in this game. Can I just automatically... Okay, I can automatically go to Moose now. I can't go to Gorilla anymore. Weird. Is it because I saved the gorilla in the last save? I don't really know. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave this off from here. Leave a comment down below. All right, slightly future Mason here. I was just going to leave that video the way it was, but then I was sitting here and starting to edit it. And I was like, well, now I really want to know what, what's new in New Game Plus. So we're just going to see if I can get the next ending. I was like, eh, you know, I could just wait and see how the video does. But I'm like, will I actually come back to the game and play it again? Probably not while recording. Uh, so, you know, let's just get some veggies going. Herba Mystica, shout out Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Uh, we don't have any meat yet. I wouldn't mind some fish though. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe like the levels here will be harder. Cause I mean, so like for example, the giraffe level. I don't know if by default the giraffe is like done. You know what I'm saying? Again, gorilla is blacked out here. Let's just hit giraffe. Let's just fork through it. Now this is technically new game plus. So I don't know. Again, like it, it might be more difficult. I don't know. The giraffes might all be fully. Uh... Oh, I didn't make the food. Let me check real quick and just make sure that the giraffes aren't like all 
properly set up because in the base game, the tutorial is the giraffe. I hear a phone. Night Zookeeper, Paul Connolly. Oh, thank God, finally. Okay, uh, this is just Linda again. Oh, you can skip through dialogue, cool. Okay, so these guys all need to be taken care of. Okay, I just wanted to make sure they weren't all like cured by default, because technically in the game, they would have all been cured. No biggie, no biggie. Okay, so it's actually 18% deviation instead of, um, instead of the 20 in this mode. So that's interesting. We got two of you to heal up. God damn it. Well, shit. Oh, fuck me. Oh, that is so scary looking. Oh God, okay. Which one of you still needs to be healed? Oh, don't go over there, buddy. Run, okay. We know how to do this. We know how to, ooh, the problem is, I don't know where we're gonna get blood. Okay. Oh, do we not have access to the, oh, we don't have access to the stuff to heal them yet. Oh, so we just have to lethal injection him. That sucks. Oh shit. Reload. Got his ass. Cured all the animals. Yeah, right. That sucks every time. Cause like in that case, I, I couldn't have saved him. I, and then we lose Bo in the process. Well, here's the problem again. We don't have the thing where we can just cure it. So three lethal injections, please. God, that thing's kind of fucked up looking. Oh, I killed one of them. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh God, oh God. Oh, it can come in, can it? Oh, oh, that's scary. Penny, are you okay? Oh God. It could like cloak itself. Ew, dude. The fuck? Okay. Yeah, this one was kind of hard because there were a lot of them. Oh, hey guys, you hungry? So that's a cure for that one. Ooh, I'm out of the red stuff. That could be a problem. I'll put money down, one's gonna turn to a monster, even though I have the cure for the ones I need. I bet there's some heal stuff in here. There we go, Luna, good work. I got two more to heal. Tinker, there we go. Did we lose any? I don't think any died there. I think we got close, but I don't think any died. Um. Oh, new cutscene. Did it start puking or? Paul, my friend, where are you? Come here, it's time to see how you fared during your probation. Hey, Paul, how are you feeling? Oh, by the way, I've had the pleasure of meeting your wife. Bro, what? Can you believe she reported to the police that her beloved husband disappeared in the zoo? Good thing I have friends everywhere. Now she will have to go into the grinder too. What? Well, lie down here for now. I'll prepare everything. Uh-oh, looks like mommy is particularly hungry today. <laughs> Goodbye, Paul. Tell mother. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, well, I didn't even get to see the moose. I was trying to do the moose one next. Okay, well, I guess that's the second 
bad ending. I don't know how I feel about these endings. Okay, so I guess the proper way to do that, I guess like a good ending would be saving the animals each time. But there's a lot of cases where like timing just doesn't work out and you get kind of screwed over. That's the only way to get like the good ending, I guess, is to not hurt any of the animals. I, I really don't know. Because I thought that would give me a significantly different ending. But I guess the core or mother or whatever was on the other side of that wall where the, the hand scan was and he caught my wife. I don't know. I, I know I said last time, like, hey, like, you know, let me know if you if you guys want to see more. Um, But for real, though, I think I think I'm going to cut it there because I don't really feel like playing all that again just to possibly get the same ending. Um, If you guys do want to see more, though, I will do some more attempts. Um. But I think for tonight, I'm I, I'm done. I've played this game for probably like four or five hours today. So I think that's good enough for me for today. So uh, as always, gamers, take care of yourselves and have yourselves a damn good one. I'll see you guys around. Goodbye. Well, actually, hold on. I want to see if there's any, like, does it unlock a new animal for me? Okay, so for doing that ending, I do unlock the zebra. So I wonder if, so like, okay, going forward, if I decide I want to do more runs, Probably do like moose, zebra, like giraffe. Do like giraffe, wallaby, moose, zebra. That way like you get the new ones for sure. New game plus plus. It just keeps going. It just keeps going. All right. Yeah. Another night. Another night. You know, hype this video up. Make this video like one of my best performing videos and we'll do it again. But <laughs> if not, I'll do it in my own time sometime. But yeah, yeah. Good game. It's just this like cycle of like having to start from scratch every single time is getting kind of annoying. But yeah, cool, cool, cool.